Hello students, Eric Magidson here with Central Oregon Community College. CIS 131 software applications, we're going through Excel. This is lesson one, covering the basic concepts out of lesson one. So the first thing of course is you start up Excel and we do that with the start button. You know, go to Microsoft Office, uh, Excel, or if we have a shortcut down at the bottom we can open it that way. Uh, just real quick, here is the quick access toolbar and as you can see if we um, have items that we want to use outside of the office button and have quick access to we can put them up here for example here's save undo I have open so open a new file I have the spell checking and the quick print now to add or remove something from this quick access toolbar I can click the down arrow and as you can see here I've removed the quick print so I'll put that back I can also move the quick access toolbar by saying something like you know minimize the ribbon or show below by right clicking on it show uh, toolbar below the ribbon so here's the toolbar now below the ribbon if you prefer it there or I can show it above the ribbon. Another thing is the ribbon takes up a bunch of space and to get rid of the ribbon the book says to right click and minimize the ribbon so we're right clicking on any of the tabs. The fact is if we just left double click 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 the ribbon will come back click again the ribbon is hidden of course if we need to use something we just come here and as you can see it's opening above or on top of my worksheet okay of the workbook I'm in so if you have enough computer screen space I suggest leaving it on let's look at a few other things uh, real quick in A4 I'm gonna type 456 and we'll look at some difference in fonts so this is the Calibri font which is the default font I'm gonna tab over to B1 and now I'm going to show you that in this font section as well as alignment and number there's these little down arrows and that means that there's more functionality than is shown in this section of the ribbon so I'm going to click the down arrow and as you can see we have a lot of things like number formatting here which we have some up here we have alignment so this is the format cells window we have fonts that we can change. Let's go ahead and change the font of cell B1. And the reason it's changing B1, of course, is we're in that font. So let's change that to Arial. Okay. We'll continue to look around here real quick. We've got borders and fills. So we can color things, highlight things, make sure they stick out. We can lock or to protect or hide things inside our spreadsheet. I'm going to say OK and again type 456. So as you can see, there's two different fonts here. Here's the Calibri, here's the Arial, both in 11 point. I'm going to hit the Control and Home key to get back here. Sometimes we have large spreadsheets and we want to see things in one section as well as others. And the way we can do that is to come up to the View tab and split the window. Now if you notice it split the window into four quadrants. So with the four quadrants I'm going to come down and click something inside this quadrant and I think the book says to go down to cell uh, H30 or something like that. Yeah there it is on page six. So I'm going to go down here to 30, find that row. Uh, H I'll have to come back over there's H30, so here it is right here. I can put a value in H30. Now, if you notice, the reason it's showing up twice is because it also shows up in this quadrant. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'll put a value in there, 235. Um, at this point, I can go all over. So here I am suddenly in quadrant four all the way down in AQ44, but if you notice, I still see A1. Let's see what happens if I get rid of the split. All I see is A1 through S24 because that's all that fits on my screen. Another way to look at data in multiple sections of a workbook or worksheet is to create new windows. So if you notice, I'm in the View tab here. I'm going to say New Window. Okay, and I'm going to now scroll down to H30, which I got to put that value back in, not sure where it went, H30. 
Now if you notice, I can switch between those windows. So here is one window. I had opened another one previously. Another window and another window. So let me explain what windows are. Windows are basically exactly that. They're, they're different windows that I can place on the spreadsheet so I can see different sections versus uh, splitting you know splitting the uh, window okay so suddenly if I wanted to look at something in a one I could do that I could have another window here understand though we're, we didn't open a new workbook okay we're looking at the same workbook we're looking at the same worksheet just a different section of it now as the book says on page nine let's go ahead and open an existing worksheet so I'm going to use the quick access toolbar here's my open I'm now going to navigate as you can see I've done I'm gonna navigate to the Contoso employee info open that up so this is an existing spreadsheet it's got some data already in it and we're going to enter some more data into this workbook so a few more shortcut keys to know. The control home is going to take us to the top. Control end would, would take us to the bottom of the worksheet. There's control end. It's going to put us in the last active cell with data in it. Control home takes us to the top. We're going to do end. And we are going to make cell A27, A27 the active and select page up so we can see we can page up, page down, etc. cetera. Uh, control right arrow takes us to the last cell in the row left arrow as you can see I'm moving up control right arrow control left arrow etc so let's go to a28 we'll put a little data in here it says to key Simon hit the tab key Brita hit the tab key administrative assistant etc and then let's see 36 so there we are. Now remember that we can double click on C because administrative assistant doesn't show up. We can highlight column C, get the two arrows, double click and auto widen the column to fit the information in there. So we can also select uh, existing data to overwrite. So let's go ahead and go to A15. I'm going to type it right in here. A15, it'll take me right to a15 we can see that we can get to information that way as well let's go to a 22nd this wasn't supposed to be Kenneth but Kennedy so if you notice just by highlighting the cell and typing over we can get the information let's go a 15 we're gonna highlight a 15 hold the left mouse and drag to d 15 okay now we want to be careful not to select all the information in row um, fit row 14 as well so now we just have 15 we can press the delete key that would get rid of the information but notice it doesn't get rid of the boxes so keep that in mind okay so another way to do it undo is highlight right click we can say delete now it's gonna ask do we want to uh, shift the cells basically at this point we are deleting the cells versus with the delete key we're just deleting the content out of the cells so we can say sure you know delete entire row okay in case there was supporting data or something for this employee over here and we're ready to go finally we can come up and if the spreadsheet looked nice we knew it was ready we went into print preview I always like to go there you know print and print preview so I can sort of get a view of what it's gonna look like is it all fitting on the page do I need to do any adjustments waste a lot of paper if you don't then we could have printed or just come back up here after previewing and hit print preview so that's it for lesson one hopefully this helps and we'll talk to you soon